happening tonight as the Senior Open continues. The Broadmoor, in case you didn't know, celebrating their 100th anniversary this year. Newside's Lena Halland got a quick history lesson on the hotel looking back on the past century. She's live from the U.S. Senior Open this evening. Lena. Well, 100 years ago from this very day, this magical hotel had its opening day. So in honor of that anniversary, we got a quick history lesson and a tour from one of the authors that helped write the history book for the Broadmoor. I think the thing that we would like to say to the community more than anything is thank you. They say the paint had hardly dried when guests crowded into the Broadmoor for the gala grand opening 100 years ago from this day. This day actually is the day in 1918 that Spencer and Julie Penrose opened the door to the fabulous building that you see behind me and welcomed the world. Back then, guests paid between 10 to $12 a night. Today, it's at least 20 times more than that. We spoke with Allison Scott, who helped write the history book for the Broadmoor. Spencer Penrose was really a true visionary and it was extremely important to him to have something created within the area that was um, a magnet for people to come from the outside. Almost every president has stayed here along with Olympians, celebrities and other dignitaries. Not to mention some of the best senior golfers in the world here this week. What a better time than to have them during our anniversary. The property used to be a dairy farm in the late 1800s. Then it was turned into a casino, which later burned down. A second casino was built until Spencer Penrose bought the property for just $90,000, moved the casino out, and built the main building of the hotel within only 10 months. The legend story is that he tried to buy the Antlers Hotel, and um, General Palmer's family refused to, to sell it, so he said, I'll build my own hotel. Since then, it's helped create an endless amount of memories for families who traveled both near and far to come here. It's, it's been a part of the family for a while, that's for sure. And more great celebrations for the Broadmoor is just par for the course. Here's to another 100 years, 200 years, to another hopeful, hopefully millennium. And to help celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Broadmoor, they are hosting a fireworks show tonight at 9 on the golf course. And to be clear, that has been cleared by the fire department. They are just doing it on the golf course where it is well watered and it will be well taken care of and well watched over tonight to make sure everything goes off smoothly. For now, always watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Lena Howland, News 5. Lena.